Hey guys, it's Kelly Ann and welcome to another Flossy Friday. It is Friday the 13th of May. It's a Friday the 13th, which is so exciting. Um, okay, I have a lot to show you. I have a little bit of stitching haul, a little bit of quilty haul, some quilt progress, some quilt finishes, well, quilt top finishes, and even a little bit of stitching. Not as much as I would like, but there's some, okay? So um, we're working on it, but lots of and lots to show you. Um, just different things that you guys have seemed to be really interested in and things that I've been working on. Um, yeah, there wasn't a video last week. I had no stitching done and I did complete three quilts last weekend, but I did them all after, I think I finished one of them like Friday at like 11.30 PM and then I finished one on Saturday and one on Sunday. Or maybe it was one on Saturday, two on Sunday. I honestly don't remember. Um, but I also had absolutely no stitching done. So lots and lots and lots to show you today. So let's just dive in. Um, let me start with some of the stuff that I've been working on. Let's start there. Okay. So one of the things that I had been working on, which I had shown y'all in the last video was the collaborative quilt the color of connection quilt I got it on the first time this time oh I guess let's do like little updates um I'm doing fine work is crazy um Potter hi bud yeah you want to say hi hi come here sweetheart hi say hello <laughs> oh that means a sister's coming Say hello, sweetheart. Hi. Little Miss Trouble. Hi, baby. So the cats are doing fine. <laughs> Stella is clearly right below our feet. Are you going to hop up? Are you going to hop up? Come on. Come on, Stella. Come on. <laughs> I don't I Hi. Yes, I love you too. Let me see if I can get her. Come on, baby. Come on. Come. Stella. Stella. What are you doing, sweetheart? Come here. Come say hello. The troublemaker herself. Okay. Okay, bye. <laughs> Cats are doing fine. Okay, <laughs> so I have been working on the Color of Connection quilt and I've been doing blocks for other members. Seven? Seven other members? Six other members of my quilt guild because seven of us did did the, did the block swap. So I have all my blocks back. I can show them to you now. So there are three of each style of block. There's this one. So cool. I picked two close of fabrics, so for sure. So this fabric and this fabric are very different, but they look similar enough that you can't see the distinction as well as you can with some of the other ladies blocks that are like this, but it's gonna be okay. <laughs> so there's three of that block. There's three of this block. This is actually my favorite block and kind of what makes me go, ooh, I messed up on my colors on the other ones. But you know what? Um, Civil War quilts sometimes are really pretty, but sometimes really ugly. So this is one where it's gonna be kind of like a mixture of both. And I'm gonna be okay with that, but this is, this is one of my other blocks. I love the way that this one came out. I love the colors and the way that they play together. 
Um, I just think it's gorgeous. So this is probably my favorite block and I do want to do the alternative layout. I still may put sashing in between it. I haven't quite decided if I want to do sashing or not. If I do sashing, I'm going to use this fabric um, because then these will kind of look like they're floating and helping break it up. And then I might do a double small border um, and do some of it in the gold because this is the only block that the gold is in and it's going to go straight through the diagonal center. Um, and then more of this. And then eventually I'll bind it with the navy. And then y'all, this is the only block that y'all had seen finished so far, but here it is. Here's the third block. So pretty excited. I just got to put that together. And like I said, I am, I'm currently debating on sashing, no sashing. Um, it was kind of like, I put a vote up on Instagram and it was kind of like split down the center. Um, so I, I'm just kind of debating on that, but I have to have the quilt top finished by next month's meeting. So I have a month to decide. <laughs> I have a month to decide, but yeah. All right. So I got all those back. Now, one of the other quilts that I've been working on is my mod cat. I love this quilt. I'm like obsessed. Um, so I finished, I finished three more individual rows, but I do have the first two rows put together. So this is using the chain link pattern. And I just thought that this was like the perfect pattern for this because it kind of had, you know, like that offset mod vibe of like these old school, like furnitures and things like that. And so Here's two rows put together. And I have one more white row and two black rows put together. So just more, more rows. Um, I decided to, you know, like get rows put together. And there's more than this, but... Come here. Stop crying, please. What's wrong? So, and then one, one more white one. So I have, I have, um, one, two, I have two more black rows to finish and three, three more white rows, I believe. four more white rows and three more black rows. I'm just not counting my stacks, right? It's fine. Um, yeah. So that's how much these are all the blocks and I have them already separated by like what, where I want them like rows wise. Um, and then I'm going to have to cut out more strips, but I do like, I don't know, I work on quilts in sections, so, um, or in like groupings. So I cut so much for so many blocks or something like that, and I do those, and then I move on to another one. Unless I get absolutely obsessed with a quilt and I cannot stop working on it. So um, there is one other quilt that I've been working on, but I've kind of buried it. So let me show you a little bit of my haul. And then I'll talk about that quilt. So at our, at my local fabric store, so the fabric carousel, um, the sugar swatch mini charm packs just arrived. And if you got a mini charm pack of the sugar, of the sugar swatches, you got the free pattern to make this pillow which uses the swatch pack from Ruby star from their new, from their newer line called sugar. It's just a little, a cute rainbow gradient of polka dots. So I got a yard of white, 
because a little less than a yard is needed. I got one charm pack. And the cool thing is you can make two of these pillows with one charm pack um, because there is one of, ev there's two of every single color in here except for the like off white and white and the off white with pink dots. There's three of each of those. So you can make this pillow twice with one charm pack. Um, and what I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to make two fronts to the pillow and then I'm gonna find like a really cool, like funky Ruby Star fabric, like two different fabrics and make the envelope backs out of different Ruby Star fabrics. Um, just to like make it funky. But I wanted to make two. So that's a little bit of haul. I have a little bit more coming in today, but I'll have to show you that later. Um, but I got, I have one more fabric haul, but I'm going to show that to you in a minute. Well, and I have a second one. What is the second one? I don't even remember what I ordered. What did I order? I don't know. It'll be here today. Um, so I got, I got before being asked for money again, I got my pattern number five, um, from the 12 days of Christmas. So I got the five golden rings before I was asked to pay for month six, which is fantastic. So maybe they're getting caught up on things. Um, but the first five months were a rocky start guys. So, um, Probably still won't ever do a club by them, but these patterns are super cute. Like, I'm not mad about it. Well, okay. I'm not mad about the patterns. The patterns are super cute. <laughs> um, but I also do know that eventually these were going to be released, like, when this club was over, like, a little while later. So I probably should have just waited. That's probably what I'll do from now on. If there's, like, a pattern that I really want, I'll just wait until it's released. I'm not doing this club crap ever again with that company. Um, but anyways, super cute patterns. I need to get back to cross stitching. Um, but this is really fun. This is from my big toe, uh, cross stitch designs. And this came in to McKenna of 1884 stitchery. And she said that she thought of me and she wanted to send it to me if I was interested, and I totally was. So um, it's a huge Texas flag. So McKenna shot this my way. It comes with two little beads, um, which you can probably still get the beads. They're from Just Another Button, Button Company, and it's a bird and a flower. Um, so at some point, I'm going to stitch this, and then I want to pass it on again. So McKenna passed it on to me. I want to stitch it and then I want to pass it on to a fellow Texan to also stitch. Um, okay. Should we show finished quilts first? Maybe. I'm very tempted. Let's do that. Y'all have seen that one. Okay. So I finished, I have now finished all of my Christmas gift quilt tops. So now I just have to get them quilted throughout the rest of this year. Um, so instead of prioritizing all of my quilts first, I will have to prioritize these whenever I'm like, yeah, I can spend an extra like 100 bucks on a quilt. So um, this is all in batiks. Um, it just repeats. But these are batiks that I picked out. Um, I don't know what collections they're from or anything like that. They came from Montgomery Quilt Company. Um, I do believe that she has now sold out of all of these. She might still have this one. You'd have to check her website because um, all of her fabrics are on her site and she does ship. But yeah, so those are the colors. This is going to be for Tracy. Her favorite colors are teal and the purples. And fun, not so fun story um, I, turns out that the night that I cut these, which was one of the nights that I think the weekend that Ashley and I stayed up for like 48 hours in a row, it was absolutely ridiculous. Lots of coffee. It was not good. <laughs> like it was not a good health decision at all. Um, but apparently I was short on Tracy's quilt 
and on Jackie's quilt, which I'll show you here in a minute, by one of these giant squares. And again, I cannot get any more of that, so I had to improvise. So for both of them, I had just enough fabric with a piece of muslin to make a block where the label can go on the front. So um, this will be the front of, this is on the front of the quilt and it's the second to last row, but that'll be the label, um, which is unconventional, but you know what? Sometimes that's just the way it is, right? So pretty excited about that. And it works out in the long run because um, I've, I either want to do the back of these in muslin or I've been also thinking about getting um, the non bumpy, but like the smoother, like thinner minky from Hobby Lobby for the back and like getting like a white or a cream or something for these or some other color that might, that might look good with them. Um, okay. So again, I had to do the same with Jackie's. You can see there's the label the label one. I'm not going to fully unfold this, but <clears throat> cause it's the same pattern, but this is with the Tula pink daydreamer with the blue background flamingos and the blue to green ombre skies and this blue geometric fabric that was originally from Tabby road and was uh, re-released in this colorway for daydreamer. So super cute, <laughs> super cute. These little flamingos and the little shrimps, they're, they're super adorable. So this one is Jackie's, she loves flamingos. So I thought that would be perfect as a lounge around blanket for her. Okay, <laughs> the Gigantor, and then I'll get into my stitching the last little bit of fabric haul, which again, there's more, there's one more package coming today. It's just not here yet. Um, and the quilt that I've been working on the last couple of days. So let me just move you back. I finished the exploding heart quilt from a slice of pie. in grunges. It is massive. I can kind of see through the fabric that you can at least see the heart. <laughs> I think I've lost my ability to see it. There we go. <laughs> it's so massive. It's beautiful. I love it. Um, it was a lot of work. There are a couple of squares where the points just don't line up right but it was my first time like squaring up you know full half square triangle blocks um or quarter triangle blocks I guess and so there's a couple of spots where they just don't line up but you know where you know what is more important all of the points for the outline of the heart line up and that matters more so some of the ones where they don't quite line up you know, the way that I would want them to are in like the explosion points, which don't matter or right in the center. Guys, it's fine. <laughs> uh, the outline points all match up and that's what matters the most. So my little bit of a haul that's left is kind of a crossover into cross stitch because it is by, by Teresa Kuget. So, um, she had a new line come out and I believe she's only done one other line uh, of, of fabric. And guys, stop, please. They're fighting um, or they're horsing around, whatever, same thing. So this is with Riley Blake, uh, Riley Blake Designs and it's called Halloween Whimsy. It just got to shops in the last like week and a half. It is so stinking cute, but it's like these little witches and cats with these creepy, cute pumpkin faces. Um, there's crows, there's like outlines, there's stars. 
There's Argyles, Stripes, um, just some like, I don't know, kind of like smoky type scenes. And then these like circular fabrics that, you know, like kind of highlight different things. Um, and then you have the little witchy fabrics and pumpkins. So super, super cute. So I got two charm packs from that, but then, but then there's more. There is also a panel and border fabric with this collection. So what I was thinking was, oh, I can get the panel, put that like in the center and then take some of the border fabric, cut it, you know, cut it in between its repeats and make those little mini panels. Okay. The panel is bigger than I thought that it was going to be. The panel is a yard. So the panel is like 36 by like 42. Um, so basically my panel, because I don't want a bed size Halloween quilt. I want just like a nice fun throw. The panel with like an additional small border is going to be the backing. And then I will use the border fabric to make little mini panels and the charm squares with one or two solids or grunges to make the front and make it a little bit more like patchworky. Um, and then just have the back as the panel because she is stunning. So let me show you the border fabric really fast. So we have this top border and these do repeat. So you get two of these sections each. So this is the top border. So you can tell that the repeat is from here to here. So um, in this is a half yard cut. So in a, in a full yard, you would get a better like ability to like cut these up. Um, but like that would basically be a panel. Okay, so there's one. So super cute, these crows, all the little cats, the pumpkin balloons. Okay, and then we have this row, which are these cute little cats and it says Halloween whimsy. So you could even like cut out one of these a little bit above and below and make like an actual like little block of these, which would be super cute. Um, or you can leave it as a part of this as part of the block. Um, but yeah, so this one, the break is from there. So super cute. So adorable. Okay. And then the final one, this is the one that it's, I'm going to have, it's going to be really hard for me to like get this full panel, but so there's the repeat of the witch. Here she is. So this is how I would actually be able to get her. I would have to use this front one and not cut anything off of this size, <laughs> this side, because that would be like, that would be where the repeat is, but there you go. So that would be like the panel. Super cute all these cute little pumpkins and everything. And then I believe it repeats. No, oh, it's not. They are a little bit different. Poop scoops. Or no, they, they do, they repeat, right? Maybe. I thought one of them said October 31st instead of just October. Oh, it's the one at the bottom that's different. Some of this is different. Mm. Okay, so there's this one, which is the same. I think maybe it's, is it the tan one that's different? No, okay. Yeah, so you get two, you get two sets. Okay, so you can fuss like, so I can make like bigger blocks of one set of them and then I can like fussy cut different 
different sections if I wanted to, to make smaller blocks. Leave that alone, please. All right, here's the big panel. <laughs> she is stunning, you guys, stunning. So see, she's a, she's a yard wide. So you would want to like keep, keep the selvages on and use that really like trim it like a little bit, um, to a quarter. Um, but basically add a little bit of a border to make it a little bit bigger, but this is like, it's, it's a pretty good size, but this, this is her. And I have to kind of show it to you in parts because she big. She's so pretty though. So I'm thinking a little bit of an extra border. This would be the back and then make a really cute, like smaller pieced front. I think that would be perfect. All right, so the cross stitch that I have worked on is my temperature sow. I only have the high temps. I only have the high temps up through May 10th. So I need to get the, I need to get the lows. So it's only two days behind. Um, I know that today's the 13th, but I wait until the following day until like the temperatures are 100% official. Um, so I'm technically only two days behind. So I've, I did these three and a half paw prints. So I need to catch up the lows, but we're getting up there in our temperatures here. Um, yeah, it's starting to get warm. It's a little early, but it's starting to get warm. So excited about that. Um, it's looking really, really good. The other thing is with the temperature thing, I, <laughs> I decided that I want to make a temperature quilt. Yeah, I know. But I did. I decided that I wanted to make a temperature quilt. I'm really excited about it. And I have my scale and everything already figured out. I like, I know what pattern I want to do. Like 90 million eight ish percent sure that I know what pattern I want to do. Um, so next month I'm going to be getting the fabrics to start on that. I'm really, really excited about it. So what quilt have I been working on? Well, I've been working on my slightly failed one. So this was the original block. This is with cotton and steels and some batiks um, that were in the colors of like the cat colors of cats that I've had in my life. So there's orange, there's white, and then there's black, mostly because of my calico. But then I've also had Potter who's all white and I've had orange and white tabbies. So um, anyways, <laughs> I'm probably gonna have to take this one apart because I am going to need this fabric. Um, but I am really excited about this. Um, I'm going to make the quilt a little bit smaller. Originally I was going to do seven by seven, um, blocks. I am dwindling it down to five by five. It's still going to be like a 60 by 60, like 66 by 66. I don't know. It's going to be between 60 and 70 inches squared, which is still pretty big. And I still, I may add borders to that if I want it to go on a bed or something like that. But um, I'm going to make it five by five. But the one of the big problems was I was going to run out of the batiks. So I picked out different fabrics and I showed you all that a while back. 
I picked out for the least amount, I picked out this by Ruby Star because this is an older cotton and steel collection and the designers of Ruby Star now were the original cotton and steel, <laughs> steel designers and they use a lot of the same colorways. So I got this for the le lesser amount used and this is from, <sighs> does it say the collection? <laughs> Maybe on the other side of the salvage. This is from First Light. Okay, so um, you'll see that in a minute. And then for the main like highlighting colors, I got this one. This is from Tomato Tomato. Love this. And um, my fabrics for this quilt from originally from the uh, from Porto with Love is the birds. These two are from a different collection, so I'll say those last. Um, the Porto Cat. The little, like, Mexican tiles. And the lemons, okay? Um, the other two fabrics that I have are from Sienna. It was a it was a line that came out not long after, but a sienna it had the right colors. Um, there's a yellow and a blue. So what I think I'm gonna do now that I'm reducing it down to five by five, um, I'm going to remove this one from the lineup, and I still am probably gonna use it somewhere in the quilt, but not for one of the main patterns. And I'm I'm kind of not mad about it because like you wouldn't be able to see a lot of this pattern because majority of the blocks are this big. Um, and so without overly fussy cutting it and messing up a lot of the fabric, I would, ha I would have to fussy cut all of these to make it like really work um, and not look kind of crazy. So I'm okay with getting rid of that block. Um, and then I have three blues and two yellows. So, I'm going to put the two that are the three that I still need to like make any cuts on. I'm going to put those at the top, which the cats are going to get cut up, but there are some bigger blocks that are this big. So there will be like some full cats and stuff on there. Um, but the sashing fabric is from the apron fabric, which was this all the way through the entire selvage, except for at the very bottom where it had like an apron type thing where you could use it for skirts or aprons or pillowcases and things like that. So um, I have a bigger chunk of it as well. I'm hoping that I have enough of this. Um, so there's another, that's kind of like another reason why I'm shrinking it is to hopefully have enough of that fabric. And I think I've calculated it to where I will. But I've started working on making the newer blocks and I may have to take apart like my original like kind of test block I guess because I had an idea that it wasn't going to fully work or that I was going to run out. I started realizing that I was going to run out. Okay so um, I got one of the yellow birds done. So here's one of the birds out of five. So you can see where like that black is where they aren't going to connect. And then these are going to be where they connect even into the sashing. So the ones in the sashing are all going to be this blue with blue dot from tomato tomato. And then the ones that just kind of end and don't go anywhere are the black with the gold. I think it's going to be really cute because also the fabric that I'm using for the sashing fabric from the apron fabric has gold in it as well. So I think it'll, the gold, it'll connect it. Okay, and then um, I have a completed lemon square, but I have, I finished all of these last night. I finished all the rest of my nine patches last night. I just need to iron them open so I can connect them with 
the more solid blocks and get these done. And then I'm gonna work on the other four of the birds and then I'll move on to one of the other fabrics. Actually, I might put this away for a hot minute, then get to one of the other fabrics. Um, and I'll do all the sashing last. So yeah. And I think I'm gonna pattern it. I think I'm gonna put all of the cat blocks down diagonally and then do one of the yellow sets going down this way, four and then one, and then a blue set, three and then two. And then the final one will be one and four. So that way it's also every other blue and yellow, all the different direction or one, at least one direction. It'll be every other blue and yellow. Um, and there'll be like a pattern to it and it'll be kind of cool. That's the plan. So I think it'd be kind of cool. So yeah, here's what two of the blocks will look like, but this will be the sashing in between. And there'll be another nine patch, but with the new colors. So I think that'll be super cute. Finally found something to use with this fabric. <laughs> but yeah, so that's what I've been working on. Um, that is it though. That's everything that I've been working on for the last two weeks, all the haul that I've gotten in the last two weeks. Really fun, really exciting. Um, I was supposed to have a couple of my, two of my quilts back and the pillow fronts back for my quilter at our meeting this last week, but she had a family emergency. So I told her, take your time. And um, she is, but I'm really excited to get those back whenever she's able and um, show you guys because it is my food group quilt and my 1930s print quilt that I made back in like 2008, 2009. So it's been a long time <laughs> coming. Um, and I still got to make the pillow backs for the pillow fronts. So um, super excited to get some of those projects done. In the next, I don't know, in the next month, I'm hoping to make more progress on this cotton and steel Porto quilt. I am hoping to make Mod Cat quilt progress. I have to finish putting together the Civil War reprint one. Um, and then I'll probably dabble with some other stuff and bring some cross-stitching back into my world because I have missed it. Um, but yeah, that is where I'm at with all of my crafting and sewing and quilting. And I'm probably going to give it a rest on getting things quilted for a month or two. Um, and then I will probably every other month have like two quilted at a time or something like that, um, just depending on what's going on. So I'm pretty excited about all of that. And yeah, I hope that y'all are doing great. Let me know what y'all are stitching or working on. Um, or if you're also a quilter, if you're working on any of these projects, not these specific ones, but have you ever used any of these fabrics? Do you like any of these fabrics? Um, yeah. Let me know in the comments down below and I will see y'all next time. Bye guys.